Well, YouTube, I have a bit of an update. Here is the theater space, if I've never shown it before, which I probably have. I have a two-channel computer, two-channel uh, two audio system with the computer there, and the home theater system is set up in the background, and a little bit on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are wondering what this is, you'll have to tune into other videos. Today is not about the theater system. Today is delivery day. Um, I have some enormous boxes in front of me. And I wanted to share what this looks like before I go and unbox them. I may even unbox them live, I'm not even sure. I guess it would be an interesting time to talk to people it's the middle of Friday, so happy Friday the 13th to everybody. <laughs> Let me show you what I am looking at. Ginormous boxes. Their shipping weight came in at about 119 kilograms off the skid. And if you can see, that's right. Um, I can't show a lot of the boxes because my address is still on these pieces of paper, but I wanted to just get in real quick and show that this is happening. It was a decision that I made a little while ago. I had changed my system over from the two channel, the two channel room, which I will, let's go on a bit of a tour, shall we? So this is the two channel room. Let me and it's all in white this room is a themed room my mom passed away in february of 2023 rest in peace her soul and spirit was always inspiring and i chose white to represent a tribute space for her because she always enjoyed white and uh, appreciated a clean and organized space so I owe her in that regard a little bit. It's still a little messy in here. I have some more stuff to do. Anyways, this is the two channel space. My other videos, you may have noticed that I had Sonus Faber towers in here. Now I have the Sonus Faber bookshelves, which are the same series, but they're bookshelves and I'm at, oh my God, these are actually really, really stuck on there. You can't do the pull, okay. So the Lumina 2s I have, I had the Lumina 5 towers, which are in previous videos. <clears throat> so the idea now is that these new towers are going to go in here. They're going to match the decor in white. <coughs> Pardon me. And this is going to be the new system. So I wanted to just showcase a little bit of what's going on. Basically show a little bit of my excitement and joy. It's... Uh, it is a Friday the 13th, as many people may know, uh, if they see this today. If you're watching after the fact, then this was recorded on October the 13th. <laughs> so the system is going to be going in my two-channel room. I need to unbox these towers now and figure out how to get them positioned on my own. Um, what you may notice is actually I have monolith Encore Series speakers here all the way around for the theater and what you'll notice about this design let me switch is they are six and a half inch woofers and a waveguide tweeter much like the arendels are so there's a similarity there i'm wondering if anybody actually knows what the similarity is um, people have asked me, why am I putting large towers in a smaller room when you have a theater here? You could just put the new speakers here. Okay, well, the big reason is all of this stuff matches already. That's the lights in the camera frame doing the flickering. So anyways, the Monolith Encore series, that's the center channel just turned on its side. And because I don't want a center channel there, or I don't have an extra one, I have four to go around the back. I put a bookshelf in the front and I have an extra bookshelf right here, which I have no purpose for. So anyways, so the 
basic driver and waveguide look of the Encores are similar to the Arendals. So when I get these unboxed, I will definitely take some photos and showcase more. I will probably do the unboxing on camera because it's just a piece of content that might be exciting. And I may do it live to stream because why not have people included? I like having the audience with me. Uh, I can't do it one handed, so it's going to be tricky. So anyways, that is my update. Thank you for tuning in for this one. Again, I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be. Maybe I'll use something from our, our end all. Um, but they came in pretty good. I had them shipped in with DHL shipping and tracking. So everything was on point. I rescheduled so that they would come in on a day when I'm at home. So I'm at home. They called me, picked them up. The gentleman was kind enough to help me bring them to the door of the building. However, they're not allowed to do more than that. Obviously there's liabilities. It's not their job. So if you're ordering something, be aware of the size and the weight. You have to deal with that when it shows up. This is new to me. I've had a lot of stuff delivered before, but I've always had help. So kudos to DHL and thank you for that help. Uh, anyhow, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you for watching this short one and I'll update soon. So I have Arendal's. I'm not even going to say what they are. You have to tune in and check out my other media for more updates. So... Take it easy, happy Friday, and I'll talk to you all soon.